Now that we have completed the initial configuration of both VBond and VSmart, so let us add these devices as a part of SD-WAN fabric and then we need to add this as a part of our vManage. So what do we need to do? Let's go to devices, I mean configuration, devices, controllers. Okay, so now we need to add the controller which is vBond here. vBond IP address is 9.1.5.2 username is admin admin okay so let us generate CSR so that we can install I mean we can sign the CSR and then install the certificate add okay so uh, the management IP of vbond is different it's not 9.1.5.2 it is uh, 192.168.122.152 okay so if you re if you see here for the vbond whatever the system IP that we have configured it is kind of a loopback and it will be showing as a part of your show interfaces uh, uh, output okay so it is up and up okay you can see the type is loopback here right so now let's go to the so let it get failed and then we will try to add the management IP address of vbond here So this is going to take some time, so let us wait. Okay, so by the way, before that I want to show here, if you look at vBond, because we need to install root certificate, right? So let us see if we have a root certificate here from uh, the enterprise uh, whatever we have installed as a part of vManage right so enterprise root csr include so our enterprise root ca is with learnedge it is not available in vbond so certificate root csr include learnedge it is also not part of vsmart so let us see now how these uh, how the root certificate will be installed using vbond and vsmart and yeah let me change I hope nothing will happen I just logged in here devices controllers uh, if you are if you want to see any of the task that is running you just need to click on the tasks it says completed it is installed certificate earlier as of now we don't have any task which is running let us add vbond now which is 192.168.122.152 admin admin you see that vbond is added now let us also add vsmart 192, 168, 122.153 admin, admin and then generate CSR okay so now that we have added both vbond and vsmart into the vManage right but still if you look at the main dashboard you will see it will not show the devices here still vbond is zero vSmart is zero. The reason is it doesn't have any certificate 
that is installed you can see the warning sign here it is invalid to the certificate is not installed for two devices okay for v1 and v smart you can see that no certificate is installed